Hi everybody. So this week I have um, not taken on any meetings. It's been a really lovely week. It's been, a, well, it's only Tuesday and it's been a really lovely week so far. Um, usually my days are absolutely chocker full of meetings and this, that and the other and what have you. Um, this week I have cleared my diary and I am creating my new um, super simple coloured pencils course which I'm quite excited about is just a, a little course um, and it's aimed at um, people who have just found coloured pencils or uh, people who don't even know that they're going to fall in love with coloured pencils just yet but they're looking for sort of like a creative outlook a creative hobby or something like that and this is what this course is for and it's basically the basically the very basics um <laughs> you know so um it's a course that will precede Precede, I think that's the right word, Precede my coloured pencil foundations, which is part of my academy. And this uh, super simple coloured pencils is going to be a standalone course that people can just, you know, you don't have to be part of the academy to be able to, to get it. Um, it's going to be quite short and it's going to go through all of the very basic things um, for coloured pencils. So if you're sitting there thinking, oh, you know, I'm a, I'm a real beginner or, oh gosh, I, I fancy having a bit of a dabble in this, this is going to be perfect because... Um, you know, it's, I'm not going to be going to colour theory, I'm not going to be going into all of the, you know, the, the, the complicated stuff. Um, I'm going to be talking about, you know, two vital techniques. I'm going to be giving you some um, ideas about my pet, the pencils that I use. And I'm also going to be uh, showing you two uh, sort of cost effective brands of pencils that I recommend for beginners if they don't want to kind of branch out and get the artist quality ones there's a couple of brands that are pretty good and I'm going to be demoing those as well so this week has been yeah it's a bit strange not not being absolute chocker you know normally when I open my diary up and it's like meeting 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 or you know create this create that create the other or you know and and actually this week is is just been completely cleared for me to create this this little course I'm really excited so yesterday having a full day um you know decided to sort of uh <laughs> go and see Top Gun <laughs> Um, but, you know, because I'm so busy creating a course. Um, so Maisie, my daughter and I, um, off we went to see um, Top Gun. And um, this is probably going to be a review about Top Gun Maverick, actually. Um, I watched the original a couple of days ago. Um, well, I say watched. I have it on my drawing board and I'm drawing away and I listen, um, you know. And, um, and I thought, oh, gosh, you know, maybe we should go to the cinema. Anyway, went to the cinema. The first time I've been to the cinema in three years two years I think maybe the last time I went to the cinema was 2019 um and um it was amazing <laughs> the, we went to the view in York and they've changed it all they've they've completely refurbed it and um we have these fantastic lazy boy lounging chairs that sort of you know sat back and my legs came up and I was like oh my goodness this is the life 11 20 in the morning <laughs> the cinema um we had a massive uh, both of us had a massive hot dog um with you know mustard and tomato sauce and onions and everything on i have to say uh, um i always you know when you're at the cinema and you're there's loads of people there and the and the service is the service is great but it takes them about i don't know a quarter of an hour to get a hot dog out of the thing and put tomato sauce on it you'd think they'd be a little bit speedier um but it was delicious it was really good and the film oh my goodness the film was just amazing a absolutely amazing i was sitting there when i get um when i get sort of scared or wound up or anything i wriggle my toes i, I it's just something that i do or if i'm in pain or something might might wriggle my toes so i'm sitting there wriggling <laughs> wriggling my toes as i'm watching these blooming fat, fat jets kind of flying all over oh my honestly if you haven't seen it go and see it it's brilliant then i'm driving home and I'm, you know, I'm on the motorway, I'm on the A1 and I'm, and I'm saying to Maisie, I'm going to drive in formation with all of these other cars. <laughs> it's like driving in. But, uh, oh God, it was brilliant, absolutely brilliant. And, um, and then sort of came home and, and managed to finish my, my little girl um, in the scarf, which um, I popped a photo in. Uh, if you're listening to this in the newsletter, I popped a photo in there. Um, yeah, I've really enjoyed drawing that piece. Really, really enjoyed drawing that piece. Um, 
she's I think it's been a little bit of a milestone for me this one I have drawn a human before the the girl in the blue hat but this one has been a bit of a milestone because I've really pushed myself to um just to uh, sort of understand the values a little bit more or not understand the values a little bit more but push myself to get the values in and um I I find that quite hard with animals I'm, I find it easier um but with humans with the skin it you know it's quite hard to get those, you know, when you're putting like really, really dark darks in there, you're thinking, oh gosh, is this, can I actually do this? Is this right? Is it gonna look awful? Um, but I absolutely loved it. Um, you know, the different textures that are in all of the, uh, you know, in the scarf. One of the areas that I really, really loved is the, is the sort of anorak coat thing where it's very smooth, but you've got some creases in there. I really enjoyed doing that. And it's what happens when, you're doing something like this and you're creating texture you, when you start to put the texture in it looks a bit naff it looks a bit oh my gosh this is looking really rubbish but then as you build the layers and you build everything around it and you get your values right surrounding it it's when you get your values correct that's when everything starts to come together um and i love doing that and the, the mindful uh, the mindfulness of creating something like this where it's just you know putting your pencil in going back in again and just um you know blending it and smoothing it out that's what i love about color pencil i just it's just the most fantastic medium it really really is you know it's so flexible and um so yeah i've i've just i've just loved drawing this one i really have she's quite she's not overly big it's 25 by 35 it's a quarter sheet of pastel mat that i've i've filled um and to be honest i think i'm gonna have her framed and i'm gonna put her she's gonna go on my wall i think um and and like i say i think she's a milestone because she now has given me the I guess the push I needed to really start doing human portraits. I, I don't think human portraits for commissions, um, but I think to teach, and I'm gonna be bringing some uh, human portraiture workshops out, um, which I'm quite excited about. My first workshop is coming very soon. We've got everything ready. I think we're just kind of tweaking a few bits and pieces. These are gonna be my one day workshops, which are open to more people than the three day ones. Um, and they're going to be based on specific techniques. So the first one I've got going out is around layering. So if you're struggling with layering or you want to know a little bit more about layering, that's a really great workshop. And the great thing about these one day workshops is that I'm going to be, um, they're going to be available after the event as well. So you can, you can come and join me, which is always really lovely and have that conversation and help and everything. Or, you know, if you want to, if you want to sort of watch it afterwards, you can, um, you know, they're, they're going to be available afterwards, which I don't do with my three day ones. Those ones are sort of like, you know, a very special, special thing, the three day ones. Um, so they're coming really soon. And I'm thinking the human portraits are going to be um, part of that, I think. I'm quite excited about that you know kind of teaching skin tones keep teaching you know how to get the the you know the skin looking right and all of that type of stuff so i'm really excited about that um and um yeah so rest of the week oh and i've booked a holiday I, I haven't had a holiday in years and um anyway my daughter was like you know let's go on holiday and i was like oh anyway so she's pretty much back packed her bags to go on holiday um so yeah so we're going on holiday we're going to Corfu which I'm very excited about um so um yeah that's something to to look forward to um now I've just got to find out how to who's gonna look after the dogs and who's gonna look after the house but you know book the holiday and then try and sort all of the logistics out afterwards um so yeah so this week is is quite a nice week actually I'm um it's a lot less I don't want to say stressful because I don't I never get stressed really but it's a lot less hectic um than my normal weeks um so um yeah yeah uh exciting time so look out for my the the, the new color pencil course is launching on the 11th of July um so keep an eye out for that and um, sounds like I've got a racetrack coming past my house at the minute. Yeah, keep your eye out for that. And then uh, my workshops, I think, should be being, they should be landing soon. So you should be able to start booking booking onto those pretty soon. Um, so, yeah, that's it. That's it from me. Um, I'm off to create some more videos on, um, on coloured pencils. <laughs>